Hello! Nope, we're starting. Hello, welcome to the Rock Art Review. Hola. I'm in. Bonjour. Aloha. Other words. Meaning hello. Konnichiwa? Konnichiwa. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know how. How do the Germans say it? Hallo. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. That's like good day. That's good. Yeah, it's close enough. enough. The point is welcome. Welcome. This is the Rock Art Review. I'm Ed. I'm Erica. This is Mr. Scabies. He's my baby with rabies. I hate it so much. I know you do. And that's why I keep bringing him on. Um, anyway, today we are reviewing a very unique whiskey from Whistlepig, which in itself is a very unique distillery because it's the only one in the world run entirely by drunken piglets. I mean, it's not true, but wouldn't okay. that be adorable? Just I a bunch of little drunken piglets running around making whiskey. I don't think that would be a good thing. That'd be cute as hell. I don't... Anyway. Okay. Sounds um, very unsanitary. Probably, yeah. But anyway, so this is Homestock. Okay. Home what does that mean? Homestock. Well, they make farm stock every year where they take some of their rye from their Vermont distillery okay. and mix it in with rye they sourced from Canada okay. or sometimes from other places too. But most of their sourced rye comes from Canada. This one, I mean, I don't know if you're aware, but there's a pandemic going on where everybody had to stay home for a while. I don't know if anybody heard about this that. This is news to me. I know. So I've just been staying in. Stay in. <laughs> so basically, they sent out sample bottles of three whiskeys, a rye, a wheat whiskey, and a barley whiskey. Note, not a malt whiskey. Very specifically, a unmalted barley whiskey. Uh, or at least it says barley. It doesn't say malt on it. Okay. Um, and so they sent that out to people via Flaviar, and then they had a live stream where they you could blend it, and then you got to vote on what your favorite blend was. And online, and then they made the whiskey in the style of that blend. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. And like all Whistlepig releases like this, they let us know exactly what's in the bottle. Can I move this just so I can see? Yes. Uh, actually, Future Ed's going to be putting up a graphic of this, a close-up picture of this so you all can see it. It's very nice. I appreciate that they tell Ooh, us exactly what it is. I appreciate the graphic that is here. It's a nice graphic. Yes. Look at that graphic. Look at it. Look at how it swirls and and, and has gets bulbous sometimes. I don't know. Fireworks. Don't know. Fireworks. Maybe? Cool. Anyway, um, but yeah, forty-five percent rye whiskey, thirty percent wheat whiskey, twenty-five percent barley, um, and they give you the ages, the locations. Um, the wheat and barley is actually done in recharred casks. Ooh. Yeah. Sounds fancy. Yeah. So this is this is their first non-rye whiskey. Okay. And they kind of describe the story about uh, it coming together virtually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very neat. It's a neat idea. It's a fun idea. Yeah. So, yeah, we didn't actually take part in the blending process, but this was only supposed to be sold online. But because American distribution is weird and silly, they have to give some to distributors. So my liquor store got some. Oh, yeah. Look at that. yeah. Things work out. Things work out. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's get into this, eh? I don't get too much off the nose. Like, it's sweet mm -hmm. and a little farmy, but it's not overpoweringly those scents. Yeah. It reminds me of, like, coffee grounds mixed with a little bit of apple and then just kind of, like, yeah, a sweet, grainy. Yeah. Just, like, apples and corn. Apples and corn. Very first well, grade farm There's actually no corn in here this one. It's all wheat and barley, isn't it? It's Maybe I'm just, like, that farmy smell I'm associating. The farmy smell. Yeah. It smells like a field of something. Yeah. Just like, kind of like a first grade hayride. I'm coming across all the different things. Yeah. I feel like I'm surprised the barley seems to be popping out most of me. Okay. I was excited to try this because an unmalted barley mash is kind of similar to what the Irish do with their pot still whiskey, which their bar, the unmalted barley gives it more of a spicy bristle. So I was wondering how much that would come through. This one, I feel like I'm getting a lot of, now it's, I'm smelling more, I feel like I'm getting a lot more of that nutty, coffee-y, barley smell than the rye, which I, makes up most of this. You want to get into it? Yeah, let's get into it. I am really not sure what to think. It's somehow very, like, neutral, but in a, in a very not bland way. Right. I don't know how to make that make sense, but it's like a little... You know those caramel apple pops mm -hmm. that uh, get sold around Halloween? Mm -hmm. It tastes like one of those. Not too punchy on that sweet flavor, but like, sure. 
I don't know, maybe maybe dipped it in water, let that sit a little bit yeah. and drank the water. And drank the water. Yeah. Because yeah. those are sickeningly sweet. Right. But I get that caramel apple flavor a little bit on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would agree. I would definitely agree. It's really interesting. Like, there's really not a whole lot of that rot. I mean, there's a touch of, like, I would say black tea kind mm-hmm. of thing, or like an Earl Grey tea, something... Uh, like uh, like a, but it's light. Yeah. There's there's not a whole lot of that really big punchy rye to this, which is usually what I look for. I like a big spicy whiskey. Is that's what you value about a couple whistle pigs, isn't right. it? Right. Yeah. Right. That's why we, piggyback's my favorite because it's just the most punchy of them all. Gross. That said, though, I don't dislike this. It's kind of. It's different from it's a lot different. of other whistle pigs. It's different from a lot of whistle pigs. It's different from a lot of whiskeys overall, I think. Yeah. This is kind of cool. This is kind of not what I was expecting. Mm-hmm. But I like that um, that apple smell carries through yeah. on the palate. Because I feel like a lot of the things we've had lately, like you get something on the nose, it's completely different on the palate. Sure. And, and I, I really like apples. I will say that carameliness fades into a more... Maybe butteriness. Yeah, but buttery, but there's still some of that coffee ground kind of thing there. There's a touch of bitter something. It reminds me, I don't know, like those recharred barrels, I think, made a difference too. Mm-hmm. Because I almost do, it doesn't taste, like it doesn't taste like new wood. Yeah. But you can taste some sort of charry bitiness on the back of your, back of your tongue and it just hangs with you. I dig it. I'm still tasting it. Yeah. It, it hasn't gone away yet. This is just hanging out. Um, so this runs like $70 retail. Okay. I actually, I don't know if this is my favorite whiskey ever, for sure. But this is so interesting and different from a lot of other releases. Even if I hadn't been just curious about it, if I had like had a sample, I would have been like, man, I think I actually want to get a bottle of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is... This is fun, especially the more you sit with it. Right. I'm kind of digging this. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. I mean, good on you, Whistle Pig Blending community. Yeah. Who did all this. And then... Yeah. So we debated bringing out the water because if you've watched any of our videos, you know, anytime we add water to something, we pretty much never like it. Yeah. But since it's here... Let's try. Let's do it. I'm just going to put a very small drop okay. in mine. I already drank all of mine. Oh, did you? You just went for it, huh? Yeah. Okay. Some of my hands are greasy. We'll, so. we'll, we'll pause. We'll pause and we'll we'll pour and we'll come back. No, this is the action that the people want to see. They want to see us pouring pouring water yeah. into Glen Cairns. It lets them know. We we too do things like normal people. We didn't uh we didn't fully sell out when we hit a thousand subscribers. Yeah. Oh, speaking of a thousand subscribers, actually that's what we can do while we wait for the water to sit. Um speaking of a thousand subscribers, we did recently hit there is a s- small child banging on the porch downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I know assume if you're a small child. I would assume, but maybe it's a <laughs> Ill-tempered nope. adult. No, nope, no, nope. that's a child. I heard. Yeah. Um, They're child sounds. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can hear that. They are screaming something fierce. They are not happy. Yeah. But, yeah, we did. We hit a thousand. Yes. We did hit a thousand. Um, we're waiting to have our thousand person subscriber celebration stream yes. until, one, I can request some time off of work because I work pretty much every weekend and we'd like to have it on a weekend. And, two, until we get monetized because yeah. we're greedy and we want some monies. Yeah. We all know Ed does weird stuff for money. So I will do weird stuff for money. That's not a problem for me. So come on. when we have the thousand subscribers stream, we'll announce it. Yes. You come on, you give me money to do weird stuff, okay? Okay. What a glowing review. My people. Yes. All right. We, I think we've let it sit long enough. Yeah. All right. I get more alcohol in the nose now. It's a water. little more sharp on the nose, yeah. 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 It's actually kind of, the flavors seem to jump out a little bit more too, though, for me. So I kind of like it. Like, there's more of that little spiciness. There's more of that appliness. I kind of dig it. Yeah. I didn't get spice on the nose, but with the water, I get more spice. Mm. It's not too spicy to the point where I hate it because it's like a bunch of fries, but it's there. Yeah. I will say, the water brings up the spiciness, makes it more peppery. Yeah. Yeah, it brings out a little bit of that 
all spicy kind of quality but it also kind of kills some of the more interesting notes on the taste yeah it's dram it's drastically less sweet yeah 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 it's kind of just spice butter and like that barley yeah yeah Yeah. so once again we did not really care don't put water in it i mean i think drink it any way you want but don't put water in it exactly it's already at 43 percent i wouldn't take it below 43 actually yeah i think this is right where it needs to be out of the bottle so yeah but yeah if you can find this go to flaviar caskers that it's on there i'm pretty sure if it hasn't sold out already um it may be in some u.s liquor stores because our distribution's weird um this is the only farm stock release for this year so if you like those farm stock releases this is your opportunity yes. so but anyway until next time like comment subscribe thanks as always for joining us and stay safe stay tuned Stay rotten. Blink.